you can't take it back, no I've got so much left to say, but I'll take the words and walk away Hey, what's up guys? Yuga here, and today I'm going to show you a few clips on how I do my movement, basic, pretty much in um, Mythic Plus. Uh, these are a few clips that I made a couple of weeks ago, I don't really remember them, but I think they're pretty alright. I put up uh, Ayavashara not so long ago, and uh, I, I did a pretty good movement on Ayavashara, even though it was volcanic and Ayavashara is a lot of movement. But um, So this is Mal Souls right now, and as you can see I have... Uh, Lady and Child and the Ring, I don't have Honest Intuition, which is why I'm running the Ring. But I'm not sure if the Ring is better, you know? Whatever, I <laughs> I don't have the Legendary, so... But these are the talents, and Stellar Drift is the main thing to have your mobility. Uh, Stellar Drift allows you to move inside of your Starfall, and that's very good. It's very strong. Strong in Raid environment and strong in Mythic Plus, and you should learn how to optimize it. So there's more use of this than just in Mythic Plus. Um, in let's say for example Spellblade, where we most people do use uh, uh, Stellar Drift, uh, some people don't use it well enough. Basically, when let's say there are arcane orbs coming in the death phase. Uh, what you want to do is pretty much place your Stellar Drift or Starfall near enough to the boss and as well near close to you. So you gain a benefit from the mobility movement as well as it still hits the boss and all the mobs. This may sound like it's a thing that you know about, but most people don't actually know about it. I hear a lot of people complaining that Moonkins have bad mobility and movement, and yeah, we do. When we really want to shine, uh, we are pretty turret, but when you have Stellar Drift, you can really take advantage of this, especially in fights where you do use Stellar Drift. Now it's hard on Botanist and possibly Gul'dan to gain advantage of this spell, but it's still usable in most fights, really. It's, and in Scorpion, you know, in Mythic Scorpion, it's not hard at all to move around. You can basically move anywhere because the Stellar Rift is so large. So you can just move around when it's a shard, you go to the shard while you're using Soul of Wrath. And instead of pulling up Star Searches, you're pulling up uh, Starfall, basically. That's the only difference. So I'm going to show you a clip here from my last video, Ayoshara. We're facing the third boss and you know immediately at the start of the fight you're going to get the debuff which you need to run around with. And I get it and I place down Starfall immediately and you can see I just run around. I, I got hit one time maybe, possibly. You see there's a lot of crazy shit going on and I still place down on Starfall near to the boss. Still hits the stellar empowerment but I can still use the movement from it. You can see I have pretty much uptime on Starfall all the time, and when I don't need to move, I use Star Shirts, and you see, I got it again. I place it down to this fire thingy, and I move around, and I move around, and I never get hit, basically. It's extremely powerful, you need to learn how to use this. So here's another f uh, footage of the last boss in Ayoshara. Uh, at the start, I'm using Star Searchers, because I know not a lot of stuff is happening, and I can get away with a few Star Searchers, but sooner or later, I know mechanics gonna happen, and I'm ready for it. I, I'm pulling up Astro Power and I'm placing down a Starfall. You can see I already planned this out. And I'm placing it near enough the boss so get affected by Stellar uh, Empowerment. And still I gain benefits from moving around it. So this fight is real, you know, I see I'm fucking up pretty soon here in the fight. But I'm still placing down, I'm still saving to 40 Astro Power so I have it ready. Because I need to stay... Near the near the tank, near the healer, and you can see around here I'm gonna get up in here. Because I don't let see what I do here. You see I still move around pretty good. This fight is extremely hard for range overall and here. I did not have a star fall up, but my priest is there to save my life. And um there I place another star fall near enough to the boss and near enough to me so I can move around with it.
So let's say we're on cruises right now and I'm pure single target, I don't have stellar drift. Uh, I'm gonna do this for Croesus because it's the best way to explain. Uh, you start off on the right side or the left side, whatever you want, and you know, we do our normal rotation, do the pull, we dot everything up, and I know the beam is about to come in two seconds, so instead of using it now and move, you're basically using it while you move, you know, Star Search. That's it's not rocket science, but few people don't use it like this. They just, oh, I'm gonna move, or oh, I use the star search, and then I back away. Uh, so instead of doing that, you pull, you pull it up, and you use your star search while you're moving. You know, it's pretty simple stuff, stuff, but it can still help if people are struggling with mobility, movement. They're not used to this, but then again, we are bad if we're pure single target and you need to move a lot and you don't have an astral power and you don't have stellar drift. This is the way, you know, <laughs> you're only gonna dodge it up. Just re dotting it because you know, we, we, gain, we gain this effect from a weapon, wax and wane. <laughs> not good, but it helps, you know. So if you don't have anything. Is 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 read out everything, but if you can use star search on the move beforehand. So that's a little short guide on movement, mobility, how you can improve. Maybe I hope it helped you guys somewhat. Um, but yeah, till next time, guys. See ya. Bye bye.